Like, really? Like, yeah. so you almost decided, yeah. well, how come? It did a lot to me. I don't know. It just, it just, I feel like I saw too much. Mm. <laughs> I saw way too much in my head. Like, I saw all this shit that I didn't like about myself, all types of stuff. Action. Yeah, so Jeezy, man, Jeezy World. I'm here with Hip Hop DX. This is my interview. Ojeezy has helped craft the sound of the new West Coast alongside his group Shoreline Mafia. He has bangers with YG, DaBaby, and more, and he's continued to elevate his sound and grow within the game over the last few years. It's been a pleasure to watch. Welcome to Hip Hop DX, sir. How are you feeling? Yeah, man, I feel good, man. My album just dropped. I'm honestly hungover as fuck. <laughs> what, what'd you do last night? Man, uh, we had like a big album release dinner. So me and all my friends, my family, and my team, we just got together at a Escuela, a little restaurant on uh, Beverly, and we just went up all the way up. In our last interview, you were talking about the craziest party early on with the group. What's been, you know, since then you've elevated your whole life and career, what's been the craziest party in the last, like, few yeah, years? Yeah, I, I think I've been partying nonstop for, like, three months man, since the world opened back up, man. I, I ain't been inside. <laughs> I've been outside nonstop. Well, it's it's been a it's been a cool journey to witness, and I kind of um, want to get to where you're at now. But I did want to take you back. I know you were big in the tagging world, but when was the first time you transitioned from tagging to signing your first autograph as a rapper? Damn, I can't remember for sure. After like Musty came out, after yeah. Musty came out, I started doing autographs, and then now I be keeping markers, spray paint with me. So <laughs> when my fans keep be coming up to me, I be spray painting their whole shirt. What's the weirdest request you've gotten from a fan? Oh no, not not too many weird requests. I feel like people know not to ask like really weird. <laughs> shit. Hopefully they know. Shit. Maybe I just haven't written it to know yeah, weird yeah. enough. <laughs> That's fair. Well, in terms of the last few years, what what do you think like the biggest um, lesson that you've learned has been just being in the game? Man, I feel like I learned a, a, a lot of lessons, but uh, I feel like just stay true to yourself. Like, like really, that that's the biggest lesson I learned. And be patient. I think I think patience is is like one of the main things. And you you had to kind of be patient in this process. It seemed like because I I was listening to another interview. You were talking about having writer's block yeah, and going sure. in the studio and not being able to kind of get across your message. When was the first song that you kind of felt like, okay, I broke through? And is that on the new album? Um, yeah, it's uh, Get Fly. Uh, first, I did EDD. So I did the EDD. It's not on the new album. And then Writer's Black hit again. I'm like, fuck. I'm like, All right, I'm going to just chill out. So I got my mind off music, and I was just like trying to uh, kick with all my friends and family. We was at home, so hey, hey, it, wasn't shit to do. it wasn't nothing to do. So I kept bringing my friends over. We was coming over. We was kick having little turnips at the crib. Just like regular shit. And then we went back in the studio. My manager was like, yo, you got to get back in the studio. I told him, book me out that nice shit, that $2,000 a night shit. I was like, yeah, we walked in. A DA Domain came through. He he came through. He played the Get Fly beat, man. Once he played it and we was in the studio, it was wide up, nice ass studio. Different change of scenery. I was like, that's it. I'm getting on this beat right now. I started writing it. Did that in like 15 minutes. Wow. Once I did get fly, I just started doing everything else. I was like, yeah, I'm back in my groove. It's interesting because I think a lot of uh, artists overlook the the living aspect of, of being an artist. Yeah, where like for sure. When you're in the studio so much, all you're rapping about is being in the studio and whatever life experiences you had prior. So like, do you think it's important for you as an artist to kind of take breaks now and live your life and gain new experiences yeah, before you go sure, back in? Yeah, for sure. It's super important because... I like you said, you gotta you gotta live life, man. And I think one of my favorite things that that became my favorite thing because before I, uh, uh, <clears throat> before I was a rapper, I never traveled. So one of my favorite things is traveling now. So so that game taken away from me, just like f my whole mind up. I was like, damn, I'm literally stuck at home. Like, and you can't even go to a store to a yeah. club during during Corona. So I'm like, yeah, that shit really f me up. It's super important to go out, live life, and just get the vibe. You feel me? Cause, I feel like my music is a vibe, you feel me? So I gotta catch that. And you get to at least now see it, perform it live, you get to yeah, see yeah, the impact yeah. of it. I'm about to do a show tomorrow. I got a sold out show tomorrow, so so I'm about to, uh, I think it's my first sold out LA show since we've been back. Wow. So I'm about to go crazy. And my, I got all new music to perform, so I'm excited. What's on your tour rider? Um, tour rider, uh, Sentia Water. The best. I, I, I get a bunch of healthy and I end up not fucking uh, <laughs> eating it anyway. Uh, Don Julio. Once I start drinking with Don Julio, all the healthy sh out the window. So I my tour writer is like random, like carrots, like fruit, fruit, uh, entrees and sh. 
if, you, if, if the, somebody who's like going to get the stuff for you is watching this, they're going to be like, all right, light on the carrots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> light on the broccoli, man. <laughs> Well, the, the new album is uh, is Jeezy World, and I want to know, let's say you're the, you know, I'm assuming you're the leader, of, you're the president of Jeezy World, you know, so my son is what, 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 is, what are you saying? You're the president, you're the vice president, you're the, you're the whole Senate, what are you telling the people? What are the laws of Jeezy World? What should they be doing? What man, should you they gotta be? go up, man, you gotta live life, you gotta get this money, and just do you. Those are the three. Get yeah. this money, live life, do you. Yeah, come okay. on. I think, I think people would like to live in that world. Yeah. <laughs> Well, another uh, interesting uh, picture you posted with G Easy. So there was O G Z and G Easy. I'm wondering, did you guys get in the studio? Are there songs? Man, he sent me something, bro, and it was during that time where I had the writers block. He's like, <laughs> I need you on my album, and I tried, I tried. I was like, man, I can't catch a vibe, bro. But me and him for sure gonna do something. Okay, I think you need to add in Jeezy as well, and just like have the whole trilogy. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> have you guys yeah, met? Yeah. yeah. Speaking of features, you mentioned that. Take off. You you had a song and he sent you a verse, but I didn't see it on the on the Man, official fuck. track list. Where did he get left off? Bad and bougie and your album. It look like I'm left off bad and bougie. <laughs> nah, nah. Take, hey, take off, my boy. Man, we got the hardest verse. Uh, we just didn't get the business done this song. Okay. Yeah, because you know with the major labels, you got to do all the clearances, all that. Shit, we ain't get it done, and I had my deadline. He had did the verse like. Right as my uh, show is about to drop. So it's, it exists. It's, yeah, it exists. It's coming. It's just... Hopefully, we can put it on the next joint. Shit. Yeah. Why not? What about um with baby? I, I feel like you guys have an interesting relationship. What was like the first conversation that you guys had, just like off some music shit? With who? With the baby. Oh, with the baby. I, I thought I was like, what baby? There's, there's a lot a bunch of babies. Of babies. There's, yeah. yeah, there's a lot of babies. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought of like five babies. I'm like, I know five babies. Uh, man, uh, the first time the first time I really met him was at the uh, the video shoot. We had went back and forth about the song. Met him at the video shoot. He cool. He a super chill person, man. Did you when he when he was going through his like recent stuff? Did you reach out at all? Or did you have any like conversations with him? No, I ain't, I ain't reach out just because I was obviously like f millions of people yeah. <laughs> fucking reaching out. And when so, when I go through some life, I I don't even care when people reach out. Like that shit don't do nothing for me. So do you like when during situations? I mean, obviously not like that, but just situations where you're going through something, a bunch of people are reaching out. Do you like kind of clear space for yourself? You're like, you know what? Okay, yeah, I kind of just want to be away from everyone. I think that's important. Like, I think keeping your internal peace is yeah, for sure. And and you talked a lot um, in a couple interviews recently about just finding your spirituality lately and like finding your own like you know inner peace. Like, do you have like a daily routine that you do? Man, I did, but like I said, since the world opened up, bro, my <laughs> just went from slow pace and like. Like doing like my working out, being healthy, meditating. I had like a daily routine, yeah. and the world opened up just <laughs> fucked that up. So I, right now, I'm trying to find my my way back into to uh, balance and everything. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard, but I feel like yeah, it's super hard. It's just about now I see why why most people that have like nine to fives and can't be healthy because I'm like just moving around so much. So I'm like this is crazy. Yeah, have you been? Uh, like I say, seen you a couple times at LA Fitness. Have you been been going still? No, nah, I just uh, I got a house now, so I just been at my. Uh, oh, you I got, got home. Like oh, you you moved up. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I also wanted to ask you because when I talked to the other guys from Charlotte last time, we talked about acid trips, and they said there was a couple studio sessions. Were were you in on any of those? Uh, nah, the only time I did acid was uh, I just talked about it on Comedy Central the other day. I don't know if you seen. Oh no, no no okay okay but I know yeah, the show they did. Yeah the only time I I did acid I took three and I just went. Banana, I was like tripping out of my fucking mind. It was too too much. Yeah, too much. I don't think no one's supposed to do three acid. No, 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 no. What about mushrooms? Did you do mushrooms? Mushrooms. I've done mushrooms. Um, maybe like three, four times. I've done mushrooms three, four times. I like it a lot. Do you learn anything? <clears throat> Not really. I feel like we kind of turned up with it. I learned a lot off the acid. That shit. That shit. Like. It gave me like it killed my ego. Like yeah. it made me not want to make music. Like really, like it, so you almost decided. Yeah, it, well, how come? It did a lot to me. I don't know. It just it just I feel like I saw too much. Mm. <laughs> I saw way too much in my head. Like I saw all the shit I didn't like about myself. All types of stuff. Yeah. So that acid served me out. But um, the shrooms, I feel like shrooms. But I used it more as a party thing. But I I was talking about it uh, to the Comedy Central people because they was telling me about like they trip like. When we was talking off camera, yeah, and I'm like, yeah, man, I want to go to like uh, where <clears throat> I want to go to like Thailand and 
like that, go meditate mm. off shrooms or something, you feel me? Try try to unlock something, yeah. new level, you feel me? You're going to come back with, like, the craziest go concept. Go meditate album. with, like, the monks and stuff, you feel me? Well, if we, if we don't hear from you for a while, I'll assume <laughs> that's where you're at. Last thing I wanted to ask you on, on Charlotte, have you guys had, uh, what was the last, like, official studio session you guys had? Damn, I can't even remember. I can't even remember, because even before the group broke up, I can't remember the last time we was all, like, in the studio like that. Was it, it was probably like a couple of years then at this point, right? Yeah, for sure. Probably like three three years, if anything. Damn, that's crazy. But years, what about know. the last uh, last group talk? Last groups, I don't remember that either. Yeah. <laughs> I, well, the last time I talked to them too, is it was all love. It's almost just like everybody's on their own path, and it's kind of yeah. Good to I feel see like it. everybody just doing their own thing. Man. Yeah, I feel like everybody did deserve to get they work on their own shine. Yeah, hundred percent. Well, in terms of your studio sessions, is there one that stands out as like? Um, the most fun or the most memorable uh, recently? Recently, um, man, just this whole Jeezy World process. I just started working with my new engineer, Tez, and, and I feel like he really turned me up and really just got me in my zone. So all this shit, all this, the whole Jeezy World project was engineered by him. So I feel like he just took me to a whole new level. Right. Well, uh, I guess last thing, is there anything you know, message you have to anyone who's supporting you, people who are listening to music. Man, I appreciate y'all, man. Keep streaming my album, man. Make that shit number one. And I appreciate everybody for uh, supporting me through all, all these years and, and my whole journey. And, and I feel like that's only the beginning. That's like a brand new chapter in my life. Yeah, no, I'm excited. I can tell you, you seem like you're in like a good place. Yeah, mentally, yeah, so. I'm, I'm, in, I'm in a great place, man. Happy for you. And, and I'm tired today, so imagine if I was in a, <laughs> in a better mood, you feel me? I'm Next. sleeping, yeah.